Hi, Joe here from Shutterspeak Photography. Very nice to see your smiling face again here on YouTube. So, I have in this hand a 128 gig ProGrade Compact Flash Express card. In this hand, I have a 256 gigabyte Compact Flash Express card that I built in about five minutes and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And by the way, spoiler alert, this is a fraction of the cost of that ProGrade Compact Flash Express card. And in terms of performance, well, we'll see how it performs uh, compared to the ProGrade card. And uh, hey, so before we get started though, I'd just like to say I appreciate you being here. If anything in this video helps you out, please help me out by hitting subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified of future updates to this channel. And uh, hey, without further ado, let's build ourselves a compact flash express card. Okay, yes, yeah, so for those of you who are really paying attention, I'm wearing a different shirt because it's a different day. So I changed the way I assembled this drive to make it a better setup. So I refilmed the section to show you guys uh, the way that I thought would be a better way of doing this. So this NVMe drive right here is the Samsung. It is a 2230, so the last two digits of that are the form factor. So like, for example, if you were shopping online for one of these, if you so chose to uh, build one of these and you saw a 2241, that's a different size. So the last two digits are the size. Uh, so 30 is the size that you need. And that fits in this case nicely. Now, this part here comes with the case. This is the connector that connects the NVMe drive into uh, the case and that's what's going to connect you see the teeth there that's going to connect to your camera So it is keyed so it can only go into the case one way and that's going to be that way And what I'm going to do is now this NVMe came with a thermal pad But the thermal pad was too thick and would not fit inside the case So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some uh, thermal compound specifically Arctic MX4 Okay, I'm going to apply that to the back of the NVMe. And I'm gonna smooth it out with this uh, little device that comes with the Arctic uh, compound, the thermal compound, the MX4. Now, uh, this Arctic 5, this Arctic Silver, um, they're actually different compounds. So this is made by a company called Arctic and it's MX4. And this is what I would recommend that you get because it is one of the best thermal compounds that money can buy. And I'm just going to apply a little bit, maybe less than the size of a pea. Okay. And then I'm going to smooth this out so that we have some contact between the drive and the case to dissipate heat. And I think that that's going to give us some superior heat dissipation. Not that it necessarily needed it uh, in my initial tests, but I think it is a good thing to do because it is enclosed in a case that doesn't really have the ability to breathe. So I'm just going to put a little dot more here. You got to be really careful with the stuff that you don't use too much. Um, it's easier to put more on than it is to take thermal compound off. So once we have a nice smooth covering, which it looks like we're getting to. We're going to then put this inside the case. Need a little bit more there. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, and now as I mentioned, it can only go in one way because it is keyed. The label is going to be up and it connects right into the teeth right there. Let's see how that is right there. There's two notches. And now we put the top on. And then there's just four screws. And you have yourself an NVMe drive that is going to operate as a compact flash or CF express card. Um, the NVMe specification that we're using here is so, so similar 
to the Compact Flash Express. Uh, they're almost identical. So that is why we're able to do this. And it's also one of the mysteries as to why Compact Flash or CF Express cards cost so much uh, when, quite honestly, the memory itself is pretty reasonable. But, uh, you know, I'm sure there's a reason that I just don't know about. But if there is a reason, I don't know what it is. All right, so that's it. I already put the sticker on the front there. And we have ourselves a CF Express card. Uh, this is a 256 gig card. So double the memory of the uh, prograde that we were using. And like I said, uh, at, at a fraction of the cost. So let's give it a try. And it works, works perfectly. So we have ourselves a very inexpensive compact flash card, a fraction of what one of these would have cost. But of course now the next portion of this is how fast is it? Uh, how much use can we get out of it? Now, if we're just doing this for standard CF Express cards and we don't care about speed, I'd say already at this point, we absolutely have a success. Um, but let's see how it can compare against a regular CF Express card. Okay, so I formatted the Compact Flash Express card and I'm in continuous high extended and we're going to see how many pictures we can take until we hit the buffer. Okay, right there. And we'll wait for this to write and then I will let you know how many pictures we have. Okay, they finished writing to the card. So we started at 53 and we ended at 71. So let's do a little math there. Um, so uh, 18 pictures, that sound right? I think it's right. All right, let's see what we can do with our homemade Compact Flash Express card. Kind of format it. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, there we go. It's writing, and I'll tell you in a second. Okay, so. Looks like we got 19. So I would say they are I mean, obviously there's a possibility of a little margin of error here, but I would say in terms of speed, they are almost identical. Now, one thing I will tell you is this card is very tight inside there and it's a little hard to get out. I actually have to kind of pry it out with a, a little pick and uh, then it comes right out. But in terms of speed, almost no discernible difference. The card isn't hot or anything like that um, in terms of, you know, we're talking about uh, pro grade card versus a homemade card with an NVMe from Samsung. Performance wise, seems to be just about identical. Now, just keep in mind, your mileage may vary on this. I'm not recommending that this is a good idea for you to do. Uh, I'm not saying that you should do this, but all I'm saying is it's very possible to build a Compact Flash Express card at a fraction of the cost of buying a CF Express card. And also one of the things that we definitely should take away uh, from this is that it is extremely easy for companies to make fakes of CF Express cards. So I think it's probably imperative that you go to the manufacturer's website and check serial numbers when you buy CF Express memory to make sure that you have real memory because this was super easy to create and uh, honestly, that's super cheap. So there you have it. So, simple, easy way to build your own Compact Flash Express cards. Hey, so thanks for watching. In the link description of this video, I will post links to uh, where you can buy 
this compact flash express card adapter and where you can buy the Samsung NVMe drive that I used. Uh, you could get them all the way up to two terabytes if you can find them, depending on how much money you want to spend. Um, you know, and, and of course, uh, you know, again, your mileage may vary on these. And of course, if you damage your equipment, that's on you because you went the cheap way out. But the point of this is that it is possible. So anyway, if you like this video, if anything helped you out, help me out, please by hitting like, hit subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified of future updates. Also leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about uh, this video. It's uh, kind of an eye opener, I think. Hey, you know what? Why these CF Express drives are so expensive? I can't really tell you, but uh, I tell you what, hopefully we'll see a price break on these soon because right now they're, they're pretty pricey. So, hey, thanks for watching YouTube. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.